Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Raju from Smart AI Technologies. If you are new to our video, click on subscribe and bell button. As we provide data science, ML, and AI based content, we provide even complete projects of web applications. From this class, we are going to take up complete courses on data science, ML, and AI. As a part of it, today we are going to start with the data analysis with Excel. So without delay, we will start it. We we'll start with importing the data set which contains ID, experiences, gender and salary. Now we split the whole work into three. Data cleaning, data analysis and data visualization. So as a part of data cleaning, first we are taking up removing the duplicates. So in Excel, where is the option when you click on data, there is the option called remove duplicate. So you need to select the entire data set and you should click on remove duplicates. It says here are, are, there is no duplicate at all. So in this case, what we need to do? So to show that, I'm going to add an extra row which is actually duplicate. So and then I'm going to remove it. So I'm going to copy this uh, 35th and I will paste it into the 36. So that 35 and 36 rows should be same so that's what the duplication is nothing but so once we have duplicate then i am going to select the whole data set and then i am going to click on the remove duplicate option which we get in data so it will remove the duplicated uh, rows so the rows which are same identical rows will never improve your models and uh, it's nothing okay the same data repetition Will not be that much meaningful so that's why we are uh, giving a first preference to remove the duplicates so now you see so when we click remove duplicate the duplication 36 row is now removed after removing the duplicates what is the next step in data cleaning so now we are going to detect and handle missing values we call them as a null values so if there are any spaces in between our data set we call them as a null values now how to detect those null values and how to handle it handle it in uh, it means you can remove it or you can fill up with some values first you need to detect it okay you need to detect it and you need to do all these things so how you do it for this we are using some functions like if is blank average median and mode so how we use these things so what are these uh, what is the what is the task of them and what is the syntax we will see them one by one so to show you how these things works for example if and is blank i'm going to use a combination of these two So for that I am going to create a new column which is detect null age. It means in this column I just want to do if there is any null in that particular row I want to make it as a true if there is no null let it be false. So I just want to apply that. For that what I am using I am using if. What is the syntax of if you can see that if first it should have logic text the condition. Then it should have if it passes the condition what should be value replaced there value if true if it's wrong if it's false then what should be the value value if false okay with comma it should be separated with comma so the error is because I am using is null so I should use is blank is null is not available it is not a keyword here so is blank is the function we call them as a functions so what is it, its task is is blank will check whenever you click you write is blank and you select something there is a c2 c2 nothing but there you need to select any particular cell so there i am selecting c column second row c2 so once I do that, I will get value for the first row. Now what you need to do is, you need to click on that plus 
uh, symbol in the end of that uh, single box so when you drag it down it will be applicable for the entire data set when you see there at row number 19 uh, there it is missing age is missing so it says true I'm just uh, trying to make that as a uh, yellow color to show the result properly so everywhere it is false because no uh, there are no nulls anywhere except at 19th in the age column we are going with only age column now we will try to do it on uh, salary So the uh, equation will be same if if something happens what will happen is blank here instead of c2 i should take e2 okay so why e2 because salary okay So there you can see, I denoted with a red color. Why? Because in that particular row, it is true. Why means there is a null in that row, in the salary column. So for now, we used a combination of if and is blank to detect is there any blank. If there is any blank, if is blank, if there is any blank, let it be filled with true. If not, false now can we can we do it better instead of uh, doing like this can we do something on that empty space that's what if you already know the basic of data science okay we call it as a filling null values fill null values if you uh, if you don't know python or if you know python there is a function called fill n a Okay. using that we try to fill the null values in any columns with so many options like mean median and more that's what i am trying to do here so if there i am writing an equation and for the particular row okay we need to write it to only one row that if you uh, drag down it will be applicable for all the rows so what is the condition i am writing if is blank if there is any blank in c2 that is a is then what it should do it should replace with the average what is the average average is a mean value in that column if there is any age missing i will take average of the entire column and it will replace that particular cell instead of true or false this will be updated age column we call this in handling the null values if you can see the first row is 28 why because there, that's not null so when you click on that box uh, down and when you drag down so you can see uh, re, sorry row number 19 now it's 37.164 it's updated what is this 37.1764 it is a mean value of the entire age column okay so now the same thing update salary so salary also there is one empty cell i just want to fill it with mean so what what i will do what should i do now so i applied the equation okay using if is blank so when i applied you see it's 20 uh, 250000 and it's remain same but when i apply that to the entire column so now you see that value being changed okay so that's not now null okay that null is uh, filled with 34157 uh, 30 lakh okay so what is this this is a mean this is a average In the same manner, you can do it for median and you can do it uh, with mode. Okay. So, mean is nothing but average. 
sum of all the elements in the column divided by total number of elements what is the median median you will arrange the values in that column as ascending and the middle one will be your median you need to have a complete data set so better you need to handle the null values with mean median or mode so next we will go for mode sorry median in the end you can keep only updated columns you can uh, leave the original columns why right? because the updated columns are having complete data so you can do it so now for the median for mean there is a average is a keyword for median the keyword is itself is a median okay so when you take any function median or like that they will be having a syntax what their syntax says they want range we call that as a range after average c2 to c36 what does this mean is in that particular column from 3 to 36 row like that it's a way of saying like that okay so now updated is median here i used a keyword called median you can see that uh, above as fx after fx there is an equation which i used so you need to check equations there you can see the value for the a's is now different from the mean why because mean is a total number of elements divided by sorry sum of all the elements divided by total number of elements whereas median it is one of the element it means it will arrange ascending order it will take the middle one so it will be the element which is already there in the data it will not be a new value so it's 34 same equation if you see after fx which equation i am using if is blank e 17 comma median e 17 colon e 51 comma e 17 so e 17 will be e 17 if there is no null if it if there is a null e is blank e 17 if e is uh, e 17 is a blank then the new value will be replaced with median of e 17 colon e 51 median so now can we do it for mode for mode also we have a keyword that you can see in the above equation we will change it So now you can see fx what i am using if is blank c19 mode mode is the keyword what is mode actually mode is the most repeated value it will see the entire s column it will see which value is most time repeated 21 is twice no other element is repeated more than that so it's thrash okay so that 21 value will be given whereas next step you will get error why because salary i am trying to find out the more in the salary column there is no single element which is repeated multiple times so that's why when i apply mode on the salary and i am trying to fill up so i will get error in that space why because it, it will get confused okay so that's a reason so try to go for better median or uh, mean mean that is nothing but average or mean instead of mode so better you go mode when you have a string data or classes like those things will be better so these are all the techniques which we used to handle the blanks or null values in our data set now we need to handle errors sometimes in our data we need to create new data set in the old data set for example 
here we have id experience is gender and salary but i want salary per experience i just want to create a new data which says how much salary per experience like one year experience two year experience how much it is there it is one of my new data i just want to create it now i will write equation equation will be e2 divided by c2 so i will do it for first row then i will click in the corner of that box and i will drag it down so that equation will be applied to all the rows so it will give salary per experience for all the rows so we are getting date result there but if you see line number uh, row number 19 what is happening there it should be salary divided by the age whereas age is zero so when you have something divided by zero you will get infinite so it says some error so how to handle it in the data if when we create a new data if some error is coming this is one of the error okay if it is if this error is coming how to handle it i just don't want to display that error division by zero so i want to display something in that place or i want to replace that value with something so how to do it for that we are using a function called if error if error you can see the syntax you need to write the equation or whatever the rules is there of if after if error so comma what should be done so now what i am trying to do is if there is any error i just want to replace the average values in the f2 to f36 that means the new column all okay from new column i am taking average of the remaining data and i am trying to put there okay there is no uh, like there is no condition that you need to put average only sometimes you need to write your own error saying in double quote you can write um, this is mm, this is something error okay or no need to uh, mention it like that you can simply write something like uh, error number 1 error number 2 so, which is very convenient for you otherwise if you don't want any error to pop up if you want to replace some value you need to give condition there or equation there okay so that's what i am doing with the help of if error if error function is to handle any errors in our own way this is all about today's session in the next session we will take up few more functions and few more things so we will be working on it and don't miss okay if you are not subscribed right click on subscribe and click on bell button so that you will be notified whenever i will come up with a new video thank you very much for watching thank you